So I'm going to do a video here on the simple instructions. If you want to know how to get to 5D, period, I don't care, long-term human, whatever, I can make this super, super easy for you. Most people don't follow super, super easy, but I'm going to give them to you anyway. All you've got to do is be happier and happier. A little bit happier today than you were yesterday, period, end of story. Period, end of story. You want to make this super, super simple? then that's what you've got to do. That's it. Be a little bit happier today than you were yesterday. Keep doing that. Eventually, you will get to 5D. Or you will die and go home. But either way, you will be happier. You will live a happier life if you do it. Now, in order to be happier and happier, in order to be happier and happier, what you will find as a side effect of this is you will not be able to be happier and happier unless you learn to Lose the judgment, lose the attachments. You see what I'm saying? But ultimately, the quick and easiest way, the only thing you need to think about ever is to be a little bit happier today than you were yesterday. If you cannot be happier, and by that I mean, I don't mean that you wake up, you're in a good mood. So you step moment to moment, happier and happier and happier, and then... Your best friend calls and drags you down because her life sucks. And then you drop all the way back down and then you be happier and happier and happier and happier until you your boss walks in the door and they drag you down. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a consistent, happy... Dreamer, stop. Stephanie? He's scratching like mad. Might need a bath. What I'm saying is just, he's scratching like crazy on his belly. What I'm saying is you have to consistently go happier, happier, and happier with no severe drop. So you can't be happier and happier and happier, severe drop, happier and happier and happier, because then you're just on the hamster wheel there. You have to continuously go happier and happier. The trick is to find out if you've got anything in your life that's throwing you all the way down so you're happier and happier and happier inching up is getting totally knocked all the way down so you have to start all the way over up all the way over again to happier and happier and then it knocks you all the way down and you do happier and happier and happier all the way down happier and happier and happier you have to find those things that are kicking you all the way down so that you're not getting anywhere so as you go through your life and you're being happier and happier and happier and you see, okay, um, this person, this event, this activity throws me all the way down here. Well, I can't do that anymore. So I have to get rid of that person, place, thing, or activity. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works. And fear is one of those things. Judgment is one of those things. And those are true with everybody. Absolutely, if you are being happier and happier and happier, but if you're still living in fear about XYZ, every time you think of XYZ, it throws you all the way down and you've got to crawl yourself back out of it, then you have to get over that fear. And you're happier and happier and happier until you look over here and you see maybe you've got a problem with gay people. You look over here and you see a gay person, now you're all the way down and you've got to go up here. you got to get over that judgment. Right there, gone. You're happier and you're happier and you're happier until your sister calls and you're boom, all the way down. Guess what? You've got to stop your interaction with that person that drags you all the way down until you can either go to a timeline where they're wonderful or you stop causing yourself to lower your vibration because of interacting with them. It's not the other person's fault. It's yours. No one can make you unhappy but you. So the fear, the judgment, the interaction with person, place, or thing, or activities, it's not any of that stuff's fault. It's, you, it's your fault. It's your fault. The moment that you can listen to your, your sister and not drop in vibration, then you're golden. But it's ultimately your choice because you're the one who decides to lower your vibration. No one can get in your head and lower your vibration. No one can make you unhappy or sad. No one. 
It's your choice. It's always has been. It's your choice to be happier and happier. It's your choice to be unhappy. And no one can stop that but you. And the only way that you can get in a higher vibratory place, and absolutely the only way that you can get to 5D, is to raise your vibration. And that means being happier. And the only one that can do that is you. There is no leader. There is no lesson. There is no book. There is no program that can do it for you. There are all of these things that can tell you you need to do this. This is how I did it. These are some suggestions, but ultimately, no one can do this for you. No one. No one. You're the only one that can do it, and you make the choice. You make the choice. Every moment of every day. So you have to be on top of where you are every moment of every day. And you have to become responsible for that. Of how you're feeling every moment of every day. Because how you're feeling every moment of every day is how you're vibrating. How you're vibrating is taking you to the timeline with the group of collective consciousness that agrees with that vibration. So, if you are concentrating on being happier and happier, you're going to be taken to a timeline with a collective consciousness that are a little bit happier, a little bit happier, a little bit happier. If you're not on top of it and you're walking through life and you go to work and work sucks and you're mad about it, then your vibration is going to drop because you're being pissy and you're going to go to a collective consciousness where those around you and the world around you are a little bit pissier. Okay. But ultimately, nobody can move you to those different collective consciousnesses, to those different timelines, but you. No one. It doesn't matter how much I want to take you with me to a happier place. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Doesn't matter how much Buddha wanted to, or Allah, or and, and, and Michael, Angel Michael. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much you read the Bible, or... Or, or chant mantras, if you don't raise your vibration, you cannot go to timelines where the vibration is better, matching a collective consciousness that it's a higher vibration. It is you that does it. So if your life sucks, it's your doing it. You're the only one that can get you out of it. The only one. Now, what I've tried to do in my videos on YouTube is to explain to you, especially starseeds, that the reason why you feel shitty is because of this. But now that you know this, you can still step yourself out of it. Yeah, don't try to do your life, your happiness based on those that you see around you. Don't try to reach out and find something else or someone else to change that happiness for you. You've got to find it for yourself. And if you rely on a religious leader or a mantra or a person, it's going to fail. You have to learn to raise your vibration yourself. You have to learn to be happier and happier and happier yourself. You've got to find the way that that is done that is unique for you. It's up to you. It always has been up to you. And although I can tell you miserable starseeds people that this is the reason why you've been miserable, ultimately stepping out of that and understanding that you came here for a reason, you knew that it was going to be a difficult game, but you came here for a reason. Ultimately, uh, you are in a human body. You are going to die, at which point you will go home. It, you knew that. You knew that if you couldn't get the hang of being happier and happier, and if you couldn't raise yourself up out of it, big picture, 50, 60, 100 years is nothing in the big picture of things. Aside from the fact that just the fact that it is basically an illusion. It's a time illusion anyway. That you knew that it was worth the exchange. That I can talk to you and I can give you all this advice, whether or not you do it or not, is up to you. Ultimately, when you die, you'll be out of the physical body, out of the belief system, out of the senses of the body, and you will go home. You will go back to work. You had a fail-safe built into this. What I'm trying to give you is a way to be happier here and now. 
here and now. But ultimately, either way, you will get out of it eventually. But to keep looking, I've seen this, keep looking from place to place to place and thing to thing to thing outside of yourself, whether it's money or job or mate or child or different place to live. That's not where it comes from. You being happier, raising your vibration and getting to a collective where the world around you is a happier place. That comes from within. you got to walk that walk from within. And that is how you get to a collective where the world looks better. You don't sit in this place where the world is, is full of death and sadness and disease and starvation and, and pollution. You do not sit here and fix this place. This place is an agreed-upon collective timeline, space in time, where the beings that are here agree to experience this state the way it is. If you no longer want to experience the state the way it is, you leave. You don't change all of them. You're, you're not allowed to do that. You don't get to change all of them. But what you can do is you can go to a timeline where something is changed. So if you want to see all the water um, clear on the planet, then that's what you visualize and you'll go to a planet where the water is all clear. If you want to see no more starvation on the planet, you don't feed everybody here in this time space. You go to a time space where everyone around has agreed that that is a priority and that no human being on the planet goes without food again. Okay? Does that make sense? Alrighty then. Okay, I'm doing quite a few YouTube videos first. I'm going to go back and do some website videos. Um, I think of the website, I think I'm going to get into um, time. Because those can get pretty intense. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do some time ones. But that's it for this one. Uh, huge hugs to everybody. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you later.